Welcome to biology class. We will continue with chapter the cell. In our previous session, we have discussed about some of the cell organelles which are centrosome, lysosome, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex and mitochondria. Today, we will continue with same topic. The next organelle is vacuoles. These are fluid filled structures present in the cytoplasm. They are made up of water and amino acids and have a single membrane called tonoplast. They contain a liquid in it which is called cell sap. It stores water and helps in balancing the pH of a cell. Vacuoles are present in both plant and animal cell. Although the size varies between the two cells, animal cells have small sized vacuoles whereas Plant cell has one large vacuole present in it. In animal cell, vacuoles are used for storage and contains nutrients, water or waste. And in plant cell, they are used to store water and keeps the plant rigid. The last organelle is plastids. Plastids are double membrane bound organelles which are found only in plant cell. Let's begin with talking about the three types of plastids. So the plastids are of three types. These are chloroplast, chromoplast and leucoplast. Students remember, plastids are found in plant cell only. Chloroplast. These are green colored plastids which contain chlorophyll. These are mainly present in leaves and young stems. Its function is to trap solar energy and helps in photosynthesis. That is why they are also called kitchen of the cell. Chromoplast. It contains colored pigments other than green. They are present in flowers and fruits and impart color to them. As they impart color to flowers and fruits, the function of chromoplast is to attract insects for pollination. Leucoplasts are colorless plastids. They are generally present in seeds. The function of leucoplast is to store food in the form of starch, fats and proteins. So students, let us now study the difference between plant cell and animal cell. Cell wall is present in plant cell and absent in animal cell. One large vacuole is present in plant cell and if vacuoles are present in animal cell, they are very small. Plastids are present in plant cell and absent in animal cell. Lysosomes are present only in animal cell. And centrosome is also present only in animal cell. With this, we finish our chapter, the cell. In this chapter, we have learned about discovery of cells, cells and their numbers, cell theory, shapes of cells, cell structure and its organelles. Let me conclude this chapter with a small video. Here's what it cell contains Out of layer is a cell membrane It controls what goes in and down Cell gets energy from the source of mitochondria, also known as the powerhouse. In the ribosomes of the cell with protein synthesis and dopamine reticulum will carry substances, breaking down materials, lysosomes. The nucleus controls the cell kind of like a brain contains the DNA when cells divide to replicate. Inside the nuclear membrane full of bones. The nucleus makes ribosomes immune is from protein secreting hormones are the Golgi bodies. Each unit of a cell is an organelle. The membrane keeps substances out inside cell filled with cytoplasm. Lysosomes help break things down. Energy from mitochondria, protein factories, ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, transfer substances like proteins. You please control the cell membrane, mitochondria, lysosomes, ribosomes, cytoplasm, nucleus, ER and Goldie body, and then nucleus, cell membrane, mitochondria, 
Nonosomes, ribosomes, cytoplasm, nucleus, your wrinkly body, the nucleus. If you look at a plant cell, they have a few different organelles, chloroplasts, vacuoles, and the cell wall. Chloroplasts take the sun in, convert to food through photosynthesis, large vacuoles to food, water, and waste. Cell wall is the outer, rigid cellulose as the protector, it provides structure to the cell. Cell membranes, mitochondria, lysosomes, ribosomes, cytoplasm, nucleus, ER and Goldie body, and then nucleolus. I hope you have understood and enjoyed this topic. Thank you and stay safe.